Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. This day, I thank God for you, that your faith is being seen and observed and witnessed by those people who are around you. I thank God for you, for what God has done for you through Christ Jesus. And that you will overcome and you'll make it in this day because God is for you and is not against you. And therefore, I'd like to encourage you today from Joshua chapter 3. And in Joshua chapter 3, God had already spoken to Joshua after Moses' death. And he has told Joshua that you are the one whom I'm going to work through to go and help this, uh, the children of Israel receive an inheritance in the land where they, I'm taking them. And therefore, Joshua was equipped by God. God encouraged him and God told him to go. And now Joshua had to do the thing that God had asked him to do. And so when you come to Joshua chapter 3, Joshua began, he rose up early and he sent into place the people as God had instructed him. But in verses 4, it says this. No, in verses, actually in verses 4, it says this. Uh, let's read verses 3. It says, And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord, your God and the priest, the Levites, Bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, that is the Ark of the Covenant, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by which you must go, for you have not passed this way before. So Joshua was telling the people, yes, we are going to inherit the land that God had promised to us. But we want you to follow very closely because you have never gone this way before. And as you follow very closely, keep your distance because in keeping your distance, then you'll receive the guidance from the priest and the Levites who are going before you. Today, we have the word of God that should be going before us. The word of God needs to go before us every single day in every single situation. Why? Because we've never gone that way before. You see, you're about to go into a day you've never gone before. You're about to go to a business you've never gone before. Yes, you're familiar with that job or with that business because you've been working it, but not in this particular day. And therefore, the word of God is encouraging us today. You have never gone this way before. So let the word of God be a lamp unto your feet and let it be a light unto your path every single day because you've not gone this way before. Yes, you've carried out the activities like this before, but not in this day. And when you allow the word of God to go before you, then it becomes to be a lamp and it becomes a light unto your path. You begin to see things that you never thought you're going to see. You begin to hear things you never thought you're going to hear. You are protected from things you never thought were going to harm you. Why? Because you have decided, I've never gone this way before, and therefore I let the word of God go before me. The word of God now becomes a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And once you do that, guess what? then now you begin to get your steps ordered of the Lord. Because the Bible says that the steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. You see, they're being ordered because the word of God has become a lamp unto your feet and the word of God has become a light unto your path. Now God is ordering you in line with his word, which is a lamp, in line with his word, which is a light unto you. Therefore, today I'd like to encourage you, let the word of God be a lamp before you and a light before you because you've never gone this way before. And because you've never gone this way before, the word of God wants to be able to enlighten you. And therefore, never run without the word of God. Always run with the word of God. Never walk without the word of God. Let the word of God go before you, then you walk on that word of God. I'd like to encourage you today, keep your faith up, look unto the word of God, and then begin your journey. And let God be a blessing to you. You stay blessed and have a wonderful, great day.